This is a video on how to vacuum seal your leftover seeds or just any bulk that you've bought so that they're not going to have uh, gone off by next year and should stay uh, pretty viable for you. Now, you can get all sorts of vacuum sealing stuff, you know, with um, you know plastic bags and mylar and all that. That's a lot of disposable plastic. Uh, I don't like using it, but uh, yeah, the same bit of kit can be used with this. Now, this is again, this is a food saver brand vacuum sealer. This is again a food saver brand, but it's uh, a three-part canister set, and this is the largest of the three. I've got the other two for other size jars, but you can do them all big and small on the biggest one. So really, it's the only one I use. Now, it comes with an attachment that goes into the top of it that connects to the top of the canister. Simple as that, you're good to go. So, what I've got here is I struggled to get hold of some seeds this year, uh, some of the tree seeds earlier in the year. So, I over ordered a little bit. So, I've got some here that I can you know, put by so that the seeds I need next spring I've already got. So, I've got a thousand black locust for next year's tree plantings. What's that? That is 4,200 white mulberry. Again, we'll be using a lot of, and we're going to grow some more next year. Siberian pea tree, 330. I'm going to get some more of these, um, but yeah, these ones are going away. Again, one we've used a lot of. I've got 18,000 turnip seeds. I use these for ground cover. Whenever I've done earthworks, um, I use clovers and a few other species, but I always put a bit of uh, turnip or daikon radish or things like that in. We've got, what's that? That is 60 asparagus. We're doing a lot of asparagus. We've got a lot in this year, We've got another load last year, another load for next year. And this is half a packet of Scotch broom because there was uh, 1200 seeds. And yeah, so I planted about half. 600 broom is more than enough for one year. In the jar, simple as. Screw the lid down. Now these ones aren't the ones that have got the little indicator lid. You can get ones that do like Like these that have got the little, you know, the little pink lid. Uh, that's a useful indicator, but these ones will still vacuum seal the other ones. These are great, but we don't use them for everything. So all we do is we put that inside there. Now I'm going to give it a bit of pressure while you just start. So clip that down. And hit go. done. So if I disconnect that, it's a very slight hiss. But this has got a little um, little button in the top there to release. So if I move that closer to the microphone, so you can hear the air rushing back into it. What that happens, when I sucked all the air out of it, it sucked it out of the entire canister including the inside of the jar. But as soon as I release that and the air goes into the canister itself there's a pressure differential between the inside of the jar that's still in a vacuum and the outside of the jar that then becomes at 14.7 pounds per square inch standard atmospheric pressure um, and it forces the lid down and vacuum seals it and it's pretty much how they do it in the factory now, as I say it hasn't got an indicator lid but it does still work listen to this you get a little tiny hiss so yeah it definitely works so I'm going to do this again uh, run it through the sequence again and then this is going to get put in the freezer um, because yeah vacuum sealing is good freezer is good combine the two should last pretty much indefinitely <laughs> 